represented by the basal framework. We see that the intention of basal is always to strengthen and bring out a kind of a stability to the banking system across the world. So, it has uh, come as, the, as per the advanced measurement approach uh, mechanism, what we see is banks can develop their own empirical based models for the measurement uh, of the operational risk capital. So, but, but of course they have to get those things uh, validated and approved by the regulators. And the intention here is uh, maintain <coughs> a sound operational uh, risk capital. So banks based on the kind of the business they are doing, they should be able to understand uh, the, the, the business implications uh, and from there come out with uh, operation risk uh, capital charge which is, uh, which is uh, more appropriate uh, to their business and risk profile. But at the same time, the challenge for Basel is make sure that uh, different banks don't use different kinds of inconsistencies in the calculations and the procedures and for the same level of risk, they don't uh, end up computing different uh, risk capitals. So, <coughs> from those uh, mechanisms, the, the basal has come out with some kind of guidelines with respect to the usage of the advanced measurement approaches. So, as a part of that guideline, first of all, uh, it came up with a mechanism on what is the definition of the loss. When you are using, when you are giving loss to a, to a framework, see, uh, when we are talking about advanced measurement approach, it typically uh, collects some kind of uh, input data and uh, to a large extent the input data are the loss related uh, data, historical loss related data of the bank. So, <coughs> the advanced measurement approach collects the input, does some kind of processing, uh, creates some models based on this uh, inputs as uh, uh, the base. And based on that creates a financial model which will uh, help us in deriving the output which is the, uh, the operation risk capital charge or uh, even it may go as a derivation of the economic capital for the bank. Now, when this inputs are fed <coughs> into the advanced measurement approach, Basel is talking about what kind of input has to actually go as a part of the advanced management approach. So that is where it has defined gross loss and net loss. Gross is something <coughs> which is a loss before any kind of recovery. See recovery is uh, something probably if a bank has gone bankrupt or if any other uh, counterparty has gone bankrupt. It's not that you will lose all 100% of what you have lent to that. Probably you may have some kind of hold on its uh, assets. You may have a claim on uh, claim on uh, some portion of the assets of that particular uh, counterparty from where you can recover some extent. So, before the recoveries of any sort, whatever is the actual loss that is incurred is what we call as the gross loss. And uh, in general, <coughs> if the if that uh, asset is a mark-to-market asset, we directly uh, find out uh, the gross loss on a mark-to-market basis. But if that asset is not mark-to-market, probably uh, some kind of loans or something, which are not mark-to-market on a daily basis, then we may even look out as the replacement cost. Probably if that asset is a kind of a fixed asset, which may not be mark to market on a daily basis then we will look at replacement cost uh, as a measure of the gross loss but after after adjusting for all the recoveries the recovery could be from uh, some third parties or from the counterparty through a court settlement or it could be through insurance claims 
whatever are the recoveries after the recoveries whatever is the net whatever is the loss that is still outstanding for the <coughs> party is what we call as a net loss now when giving inputs into the advanced ma advanced measurement uh, approaches uh, what is suggested is either you give the gross loss or the net loss without this this is a very important uh, point without the insurance claims <coughs> the net loss after the all the recoveries but without the recoveries from the insurance claims so either of them can be given as input to the model but there should be some level of consistency Did, am i giving the gross losses or the net losses before <coughs> before the adjustment for the insurance based recoveries and so from this perspective